In March 2016, Rafael Benitez was appointed manager of Newcastle United. Benitez was handed 10 games to try and keep the club in the Premier League, but was unable to prevent Newcastle slipping into the Championship. On May 25th, it was confirmed that Benitez would remain at St James's Park, even though the club would be competing in the second tier. Benitez, a keen and diligent planner, had already begun preparation for the upcoming season, which included a list of potential targets. Using the final 10 games to assess his squad, Benitez wasted no time in moving on as many of the club's high-value assets as possible. By late July, Newcastle had bankrolled close to £40 million from the sales of Jorginho Wijnaldum, Remy Cabea and Andros Townsend, as well as shifting significant salaries from the wage bill including Papa Cisse and Fabrizio Colaccini. While some sales, like Andros Townsend, were forced due to a contract clause, Benitez opted to remove players that either did not fit his 4-2-3-1 style or that did not have the fight he knew would be needed for the 46-game championship season, such as Musa Sissoko, who was sold to Tottenham Hotspur for £30 million in late August. Despite being given close to £50 million of the £75 million raised to invest in the squad, Benitez adopted a clearly defined and prudent transfer strategy and attempted to sign Premier League ready players whenever possible. Dwight Gale had performed well in the championship with struggling Peterborough United and also shown a solid, if not spectacular, goal return while in the Premier League with Crystal Palace. More importantly though, he fit neatly into Benitez's system, with Gale able not only to play as a poacher, but also run the channels and pressurise centre-backs. The other big money acquisition, Matt Ritchie, was a direct replacement for Townsend. Ritchie had not only been a central figure in Bournemouth's promotion campaign of the 15-16 season, but was also industrious and more than capable of handling the demands of championship football, a theme of Benitez's acquisitions as six of the 12 players he signed for the Magpies had played championship football within the last three seasons. One of those six was Isaac Hayden. The youngster had shown glimpses of potential at Hull City in the previous season and provided a low-risk option at just £2.5 million. Furthermore, the former centre-back could play a variety of positions, including right-back and central midfield. Benitez, unlike his predecessors, sought to achieve a squad with depth that could facilitate a rotation policy, with only two of his summer signings, goalkeeper Matt Seltz and defender Jesus James, failing to make at least 10 league appearances. Exemplified by the signing of 34-year-old Daryl Murphy from Ipswich, such an acquisition would not have been allowed previously with Newcastle almost exclusively targeting players under 26 years old. Compared to fellow relegated side Norwich City, who opted initially to make few squad changes, Benitez accepted his current squad was not fit for championship football or the 4-2-3-1 system he preferred. Conducting a squad overhaul is only part of the reason for the club's promotion though. Aston Villa underwent a similar set of changes, with Roberto Di Matteo adding nine new faces in the summer window, however the key difference between the two clubs was timing. The Spaniard did his business early, with every member of his most used starting eleven already at the club by August 3rd. By comparison, Villa's most used eleven contained just six players at the club by the same date. Admittedly, not all of Benitez's signings have been successful, with talk already circulating that Sells and Lazar, signed for a combined £7 million, could leave the club in the summer. But that's a small price to pay for promotion at the first time of asking. Benitez showed diligence in rebuilding Newcastle and helping them back into the Premier League ahead of an exciting summer on Tyneside.